Hello, in this video I'm going to present this, the Alice camera. The Alice camera is an AI accelerated computational camera that we're developing for content creators, vloggers, YouTubers, Twitch streamers, TikTokers, and for anyone else who wants to share high quality videos online. The Alice camera brings together mirrorless camera technology with smartphone technology. It will have a dedicated AI chip and modern computer that will run deep learning algorithms to help with focusing, exposure, color, and more. We're also gonna be developing an iOS and Android app on your smartphone that will communicate with Alice that will make it much easier for you to shoot, edit, and share videos online. This is the first of a two-part series where we give you a closer look at Alice. In this episode, I'm gonna go through the main hardware features of the Alice camera. And in a future episode, I'm gonna talk about the core software and AI features. The aim of this series is to do a bit of a show and tell and to get your feedback on things that you like and things that you don't like. So please comment, like, subscribe to get notified on future videos. So feature number one is the smartphone grip. You can attach almost any modern smartphone to the Alice camera just by pushing this grip up and by pulling this down. Here I have my iPhone 11 Pro and I'm gonna take it and put it just onto the back of Alice. You mount it just like that and you basically have a professional optical system on the back of your smartphone. I also have an iPhone 8 here, so you can also attach it here, it works just as well. So maybe you don't need to think about upgrading to the latest iPhone 12. If you are really into cameras and you're looking for a high quality optical device, then maybe Alice is the answer for you. It will work with other smartphones made by other companies, as long as it can fit inside of this grip. And this grip has been made to extend all the way up to the biggest iPhone uh, Pros or Maxes or Plus, I forget what they're called nowadays. What we'll be doing is that we'll be using the smartphone screen as a real-time viewfinder for Alice so that the smartphone can see everything that Alice is seeing. Another really cool thing that you can do is that you can actually take the smartphone out and place it in the other way so that it becomes a selfie screen. Just like that. Uh, it's probably worth pointing out that the camera will work without the smartphone attached. So I could have my smartphone here and I could be mounting Alice all the way next to where my camera is and I'll still be able to see myself on the screen, which is really cool. Uh, also, you don't actually have to have the smartphone app connected to the camera for it to work. You could simply turn on Alice and press record and it will work just like this. Lots of people ask us if the smartphone grip is robust. So here I've got it with my iPhone 11 and if I shake it like this, pretty robust. And like this, again, quite robust, doesn't fall out easily. Feature number two is the interchangeable lens. That means that you can take the lens off. How cool is that? Alice uses the Micro Four Thirds lens mount standard, which is one of the smallest and most compact uh, mounts that exists. It's also one of the most flexible and has a huge variety of lenses. You could use vintage lenses, but also lenses from different manufacturers if you have an adapter. So here I've got a vintage lens and I'm using a Micro Four Thirds adapter to make it work onto the camera. If I take this lens and put it onto Alice, it doesn't fit, it doesn't work. So what I need is an adapter to attach it onto the camera. And this is really cool. A lot of people have told us over the last couple of weeks that they really like the, the idea of using vintage lenses because they've got tons at home. There's obviously various types of adapters. Uh, there's uh, adapters from Canon to Micro Four Thirds or from Sony to Micro Four Thirds, Nikon as well, and a whole range of uh, different manufacturers. That's probably for another video. And there's tons of uh, really great YouTube videos out there that talk about the different types of adapters that you can use with Micro Four Thirds. So I'll drop a link down below and you can check them out in your own time. Feature number three is the button placement. Alice has a very minimal design and only a few buttons. So there's a shoot button, an on and off button, and there will be an exposure wheel here. Otherwise, there's no other buttons. A lot of traditional functionalities of the camera will be done by the smartphone app, and we'd love to get your opinions on this, especially as we build out the app. Feature number four is all of the external mounting options. You have a cold shoot option here to mount things on the top. 
There is a screw at the bottom to allow you to attach tripods and tripod mounts. Uh, there's also a space on the side here for neck and arm straps. Otherwise, that is it. And feature number five is all the other things uh, which I'm lumping into one feature. So first we have audio. Here is a microphone jack which will allow you to input external audio. Secondly here, there's a USB-C charging port. And thirdly, there is a spot here for external storage, so an SD card. But recently we've actually been thinking about getting rid of the SD card entirely and focusing on internal storage. So what do you think about that? We'd love to get your thoughts, uh, so let us know in the comment section below. Just some final thoughts uh, before I wrap up the video. We're doing our best to give you as much information as possible as and when it comes out, but there's loads that we can't talk about for intellectual property reasons. And uh, several people have asked us tons of questions about the sensor. Uh, we're using a Sony sensor, 11 megapixel quad by a HDR sensor. We're also using some dedicated AI hardware, which we can't talk too much about. Battery life is also another question that comes up. We're still testing the battery life, but it will have a more powerful battery than most modern smartphones. Lastly, we're starting a beta program for the Alice camera. Uh, we're going to be selecting 50 people who will get insider access to exclusive content. They will get the option to test the camera before anyone else. Uh, their feedback will be really valuable in terms of how the camera operates, what kind of software features we'll be going for. Um, so we're going to be launching that program really soon. Uh, message info at alice.camera if you want to learn more about this. Uh, but yes, keep an eye out for our beta program. I'll probably do a launch video for that in any case. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to be informed when we release future videos about Alice. We're really trying to do something different and innovative in the camera space. And in order for it to be a success, we need you guys on our side. We need to talk to you. We need to understand what you like, what you don't like about your cameras at the moment. So that when we're developing Alice, we can build out features that are really transformative and that can really help you as you're making your content. So stick around, subscribe, and chat to you soon.